Let's have a little tea time with tea. A little conversation. I know it's not going to be long. I really just want some opinions, some views. So y'all pop on in. So we can have a quick little conversation. We're not going to hold it out long because, honey, it's a work week. Okay, guys? So really, I can't drag it out too much. So, the question is, what do we do with Saudi Arabia? See, we've been down this road before. Uh, Iran, where they kidnapped American citizens, held them for hostage, and we not only did not send them weapons, we kept the cash that they had already sent to us. So what do we do? I'd really like to know, have they sent the money yet? Have we received the funds for the weapons? I'd like to know that. If we haven't received the money, cancel the deal. They want weapons as a defense from Iran. Okay. Fine. Hey, just how you doing? So I want your opinion about this. Since Saudi Arabia is walking in lockstep with Putin, fine. Buy your weapons from Russia. Yeah. You know, the country that literally attacked another country and then realized, oh, we're fucked. We have three-year-old um, food for our soldiers. We don't have proper weapons for our soldiers. We don't have what we really need when we thought we did. Exactly, Southern. If you're going to do this, it's almost as if they said, well, hey, I can walk into their house, take a crap in the middle of the floor, and say, hey, we're still friends, right? Yeah, we're still buddies. We're still allies. No, we're not. No, we're not. And if you're going to do that, stop the deal. Stop it. Hey, Rick, stop fucking paying. Trying to get the word out on a female veteran in need. Go right ahead. But right now, the conversation is Saudi Arabia. Stop. Stop. The weapons. Do not send them to them. We've been down this road before. If you want to piss on this country... Pick up the phone. T. That's my program pro, pronoun. T. See it up there? T. Brown? Stop the deal. Look. Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman. Put a freeze on that sale. Stop it. Don't sell a damn thing to Saudi Arabia. Oh, well, you thought you just cut oil prices? Okay. Stop. Don't sell the weapons. That's it. See, go try to buy them from Russia, who right now couldn't even get the weapons they wanted from China. Because for all the things we say about China... They actually hold elections. So his fucking ass, yeah, they made him emperor for life. You know how long that life can last? Until they vote his fucking ass out. Because in China, they actually vote fucking people in. <gasps> Have you noticed how quiet he's been? Since the head of China went and met with Putin. Shh. Shh. You haven't heard anything. Because the people of China were not fucking happy with him meeting with Putin. That's why he was like, you know, you need to settle this. You need to stop this. Because the Chinese people actually said, fuck that shit. We're not looking to get into a war. 
And we're not going to co-sign his goddamn war. Of course. Of course he is. When Putin met, met with OPEC, the price went up. They cut production. So guess what? Don't sell them all those planes they wanted, all those missiles, all those missile defense systems that Saudi Arabia wanted. Say no. You know, we reevaluated. Since the American people are going to be hurt by you cutting production, we're not going to do the deal with you. This is a subject of the live. If you can't comprehend that, if you have a problem keeping up, feel free to go out the same door you came in. I want your views. I want your opinion on this. What do you say? What do you say, people? I want y'all to give me your opinion about this. Is this something that we should really batten down the hatches and follow through on? Oh, no, baby, I'm not a professor. Professor. We have a deal, a pending deal with Saudi Arabia to sell them um, missile defense systems, to sell them jets, to sell them missiles, to sell them bombs. Should we keep to it? Should we cancel that deal? They said they needed our weapons to defend against Iran. Because Iran is what they're afraid of. Okay. You ain't that fucking afraid of them. Because you agreed to stab us in the back. You agreed to undermine us. You agreed to help Putin. Go to Putin and ask him for all that stuff you need. Go right ahead. Go to Putin. Why not? I mean, they seem to have forgotten that we actually had a deal going on. That you're now going to smack our hand, spit on us, cancel the fucking deal. That's it. Call Putin. Call him and say, hey, you know all those missile defense systems that we were going to buy from America? We'd like to get it from you. And see how quick Putin go. We, 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 we don't have that. We, we, we don't have those systems. Well, you know, the mobile rockets, we really like those too. We don't have those. We, we, don't, we don't have those. Well, what can you give us? Three-year-old food and tanks that are fucking under, <laughs> under cared for. That's what we can give Saudi Arabia. So, if the crown prince of Saudi Arabia wants to fuck around, let him find out. Let him find out. Fuck around and find out. What you find out should be, no, we're not selling you shit. Because matter of fact, since you're so tight with Putin, what we send to you might wind up in Russia being used against the Ukrainians. So no, we apparently cannot trust your ass. But you know the beautiful thing about our weapons systems? If they did sell it to them, with a flip of the switch, they can turn them off. Have you ever heard of people's cars being stolen? And you call in and say, my car has been stolen, and they can flip off the fucking engine? Apparently they are, because they're going along with Pootie. I'm just stating facts. Are you saying this shit did not happen? 
That's not misleading, baby. We're discussing facts here. If you cannot cope with facts, please scroll on. Because this is a place of conversation. They know, yes, they know it will hurt Americans. And they don't care. So make them care. Cancel that fucking deal. Here it is. You can look it up. He is asking that we freeze cooperation with Saudi Arabia and we hold that weapons deal. Why not? Oh yeah, absolutely. But here's the deal. Here's the thing. Explain this to me, Dirty Donnie. Did they forget that they had just cut a deal to buy weapons from us? So you're putting, pumping up Putin and Trump over the safety of your own people because you said you needed to buy the weapons because you were afraid of Iran. Are you, are you afraid of Iran or not? I mean, really. If you ask me to hire a security guard for you, and then you go around and undercut me, do you really need the security guard? Or were you lying? Which is it? Did you really need the weapons? Did you really feel insecure? Or were you fucking lying? Remember, we sold weapons to Saudi Arabia before. What was the um, the little little state that they attacked? I forget for a moment. It slips my mind. But they took what we gave them and used it against innocent people. So now you want all of these what Yemen? Thank you. They used it against Yemen, who had not fucking attacked them. But they got the weapons from us. There are plenty of missile shells in Yemen that are stamped made in America. You've already betrayed us once when you bought those fucking weapons from us and used them in Yemen. Which, what were you planning on doing with these weapons? Really, what were you really planning to do with these fucking weapons? Because apparently right now, you're not that stressed about getting them. You're willing to piss in our pool. So explain that shit to me. Maybe Senator um, Menendez is right. Maybe we need to put the brakes on it. Maybe we need to stop and say, you know what, um, that deal about the missiles and the training and the weapons and the missile um, deflection equipment, all of that shit. You know, that, um, that iron shield that Israel has that shoots down missiles. Saudi Arabia, you don't need that shit. Fuck that. Yep. They are asking them to put a freeze on it. Till they have another talk with Saudi Arabia about, you know, um, that cut in production of oil that you're talking about. See, that's going to undermine our country. That's going to keep us from being able to help our European allies. Because understand, the plan was... To keep a grip on Putin, don't buy his oil. Don't buy his natural gas. So we would buy oil from Saudi Arabia. And we would be able to send some to Germany, England, France for the winter. So don't, don't, don't tell me Putin didn't sit there and say, Oh yeah, I know how to knock that, those blocks over. That alley.
allyship that they're working, I know how to break that shit up. Go to Saudi Arabia, go to OPEC, and say, you know, y'all, y'all need to cut your production. I'm not cutting my production, but I want to be the one standing there going, if you want oil, you got to come to me. You got to pay me. You got to pay me so that I have money to hire mercenaries to fight in the Ukraine. That's just, that's just a pure card game move. That is what Putin is doing. And the crown prince of Saudi Arabia is working right along with him. Our reserves are low because we're helping our allies. Yeah. So anybody that fits their mouth and say, well, our, our reserves are low. Why are they low? Come on, baby. Y'all can say it with me. A, B, C. Putin attacking Ukraine. Germany, France, and England supporting them to the point that they're not buying his oil. They're not buying his natural gas. They're depriving him of money. He is using our reserves to support our allies. What part of the word ally do you not understand? Sold it to who? Sold it to who? You keep saying sold it. Sold it to who? Who? I mean, don't be a parrot. You've got plenty more words that you can fucking type. Sold it to who? Who? Sold it to China. And so did Bush. So did Obama. So did Trump. So what is your fucking point? Yes, he did. So did, so did Trump. So, Smith, explain that shit. What difference did it make? What makes that separation there for you? Seriously, answer me that. And all you got to do is go duck, duck, go it, and it'll pop right up. That yes, Trump sold oil to China. To China. Not the world market, baby. To China. No, I don't need to listen to anybody. Go look it up yourself. And newsflash, you're about to lose the ability to throw CNN out there because it's just been bought by a very conservative businessman. So, you know, that whole CNN thing is about to go bye-bye. Mm. No, it's not Trump's fault. This is Putin. And this is the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So, nip the crown prince of Saudi Arabia in the ass. That is something we need to hold them accountable for. How about building some refineries? How about we stop selling refineries to other countries? 79, let's start there. But I do agree with you. We could do with at least three more refineries. Preferably something up in Michigan, Pennsylvania, maybe Kentucky. Yeah. Spread them out. Uh, he sold our reserves to China. It ain't hard to find out. It's easy as can be. Easy peasy. Understand. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean it's not a fact. Yeah, I want an electric car. Hell, I'd love to have an electric car. I'd actually like to have one that runs on electricity and gas. Because in the summertime, if you make that baby solar, that means I'll be buying almost no oil.
no gas. That's it. I would love to have a solar electric gas car. Electric cars can now run over 200 miles. Over 200 miles. Going back and forth to work. Maybe going to the movies. You're not cranking out 200 miles a week. If you are, damn, you, you really work far. Know what it takes gas to make electric. You know, solar means that it's running off sunlight, not gas. You know that, right? You know they're two different things? Uh, and they are being exploited not just in Africa, but in India. And they are about to open up a factory. Sorry, a mine. I believe it's in Utah. Yeah. There's not that much sunlight. Uh, yeah, there is that much sunlight, sweetie. Now, if you're up north, you would have less sunlight. Literally, Florida, California, Texas are very sunny states. Why do you think the majority of the people that own electric cars are in those states? Because they got sunlight. My goodness, you don't know that? Yes, we need to do more nuclear. Absolutely, we do. We need to do uh, at least three more nuclear power plants. Of course, I wouldn't really trust them on the West Coast. Unstable land. Too many regulations. Regulations have a good reason. Because we don't all want to be glowing in the fucking dark. There's plenty. There's 9,000 oil permits out there. Now go talk to the oil companies and ask them why they're not putting them to use. And if you don't believe it, go look up Katie Porter. Katie Porter, every time she gets one of those big wig oil executives, she rips them a new ass. Because they'll lie. Got one in this not far from. I'm from Clarksburg, West Virginia. Can somebody tell me why the fuck with all those beautiful mountains... You don't have a fucking windmill farm. I ain't talking solar. A windmill farm. West Virginia's mountaintops are gorgeous. Did you guys hear about the, um, the town, the area that's been built within the last 10 years in Florida? That is primarily solar. And all of their electrical... Wiring is underground. They lost less than 24 hours worth of power. Why? Because they're primarily fucking solar. And because their wires aren't above ground, they're underground. So, even with Hurricane Ian, Ian even with the flooding, their electrical cables were safe. Why can you not build them on mountains? Help me out there. Why can't you? Why can you not build them on mountains? This is open fucking land. I may be wrong, but somebody tell me. Why can't you set up a windmill farm on mountains? I could be wrong, but help me out here. Why can't you? With the mountain range that West Virginia has, hell, they should be able to generate enough power to sell it to another state. Yeah, that's a way of making money. That isn't coal-driven. Hmm. 
we will see. Uh, Saudi's only going to hit the global stage if they have the right type of weapons, which we own. If we don't sell it to them, Saudi Arabia is not going to be able to hit the global stage. They're not. Depression, anxiety. Hello, hello. Because they want to surface, surface mine all of them. With American, yep, there you go. With American weapons. We have to be a little more savvy about selling weapons to people who are willing to stab us in the back. Okay? Yeah, great. They're allies. Yeah, uh, what? What? Wait, you're about to short us on oil? And it's not just us, guys. There will be other countries that it affects as well. Because we're not the only ones sucking at the teat of Saudi Arabia. You guys know that, right? Yes, we are getting effed over. Yes, we are. And this is a very smart idea. Freeze that fucking deal. We need to revisit it. We may need to renegotiate it. Because we're not giving you or selling you our best weapons. What? So you can continue to piss on us? Hell no. No, Saudi Arabia. You don't get those nice airborne fighters that you wanted. Honey, get your head out of your ass and be willing to see both sides of a situation. Well, by our legislatures, then they need to be voted the fuck out. How's that? It's not more altitude, the less air. What? Wait a minute, have you been to West Virginia? The wind in the winter will will practically peel the fucking skin off your ass. And remember, West Virginia, winter starts October. And it ain't over till about May. Maybe June. Yeah. Because I've gone to funerals in West Virginia where it's still snowing and still blowing. Thank you. So again, drive through West Virginia and see all of that fucking open land that is not being used. That could be beneficial to not only West Virginia, but the states surrounding them. They don't get hurricanes there. <laughs> yeah, Chicago is windier. But trust and believe, West Virginia will give it a fucking run for its money. Here's the thing. Hey, 313, West Virginia will not supply the nation that cannot even take care of West Virginia. I'm giving you a way for West Virginia to take care of itself and maybe a surrounding state. Nobody said the whole fucking nation, okay? So please, pull in the exaggeration and understand this is something that could really help West Virginia. Minus the black lung. Thank you. Thank you. But we have states that go, we can't, we can't, we can't. Instead, maybe we should give that a try. Maybe that would really benefit our community. Maybe. Well, wait a minute. Can we get, like, a grant to try this shit out? To build and start down the road and see how it benefits West Virginia? Because right now, West Virginia is a fucking graveyard. Speaking as someone from West Virginia, there are more people dying than being born 
every time I go back there, the count of how many citizens there are in West Virginia goes down and down. And I'm like, is anybody being born? Is anybody being born in, in, in Clarksburg, West Virginia? In Grafton, West Virginia? Is anybody actually being born? Because the way I'm looking at it, three people die, one person gets born. I'm like, damn. If that many people are dying, who's working? How? What's the tax base like? I'm like, what is the tax base? If you've got many, that many fucking people dying from opioid addiction, ODing, where's the foundation anymore? Unless you want to work in the coal mines and then die young from black lung. Yeah. Fentanyl. Oh, yeah. There is a restaurant that you go into. And you know how sometimes they um, people barbecue or grill with like cherry um, wood chips or um, different kinds of maple wood chips. They fucking grill with coal. They grill, They literally are boasts that they grill with coal. This is homegrown coal that we grill. <laughs> hey, Swear, so how you doing? Hey, I'd like your opinion about this. If you want to hop in for just a couple minutes. Before you hit the hit the hay. Texas has wind and solar, but Texas ain't taking care of their solar solar. I mean their wind panels. They literally did not pre-treat them for winter. And it amazed me how many people were like, well, they froze. Uh yeah. They were told to prep the wind. Solar, the wind, uh, the, the solar, uh, the, 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 oh my God. Hey, T. Hey, honey. So, I had a couple of questions. Maybe you can help me out. Um, China is not part of OPEC, is it? Nope. Okay. So, the Saudis nope. could... I'm I'm sitting here, I'm just thinking, you know, different ways to just make the Saudis kowtow to us for a change. I say cut them off. Yeah. I say just cut them off, yeah. shut them down. Yeah. But then the backside to that deal would be they would more than likely go and hit up China for weapons and advanced weaponry. I'm that glad you brought down. that up. Because I'm going to ask you this real quick. So... Russia actually met with the president of China. The idea was getting weapons and support from China. That's been three over three weeks ago. We haven't heard a fucking thing out of China. And it and it doesn't look like the I mean if we if we knew that weapons were being moved to Russia from China, I think we would have known about that by now. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think China might have just said, nah. We Let the man who started the war finish the war. Yeah, yeah. So if, if it's a case of we refuse to sell to Saudi Arabia, China may very well go, when we saw you at OPEC and you were cheap to jowl with Putin. No, yeah. we got to sell to no weapon. <clears throat> yeah, because all you're going to do is when we decide we're not going to play ball with you, then all you're going to do is jack the oil price up on us, too. So that could be because, I mean, you know, they don't have a lot of cars in China, but China's probably sitting there thinking long term. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, but so, he's not jumping into it. But I think Mendez is right. Just, you know what? Hey, Saudi, you had a good run. You know, we talked about a few things. We hung out. 
But yeah, you got to start buying your shit elsewhere because if this is how you're going to treat us after we let you get away with all kinds of shit, then no, nah, it's a rap kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yemen, we let you get away with. Uh, killing the um, the um, reporter, Mark we let Kogi. you get away with. Yeah. Yep. Pull so the yeah, bases. And that that's what I'm thinking. It could it could go either way. I mean, China China could make a deal with them for cheaper import of oil. Um, but then they could also turn around and say, Well, been business partners with the United States for decades and look how you fucking them. Yeah. We, yeah. we don't like we don't like that. Yeah, we you had know, a trade of- war with them. Okay, yeah. You know, we both came out with scars and, and bruises, but uh, no. Mm-hmm. Girl, do you know people believe, people are actually believing that when Donald Trump went over to Saudi Arabia and he met with the prince and they let Donald Trump hold that sword, that was the prince handing over the kingdom of Saudi Arabia to Donald Trump. No. Lord have mercy. That's, these that's are the same the, ones. That, these are the same ones that think the queen knighted him. Yeah, that was that was something I read on one chain a couple of days ago. I'm like, man, come on. I had to break out my my Obama voice. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, because I, I just can't believe it. But I don't know. It's it's gonna get it's gonna get dicey here before it gets uh, better. Oh, yeah. and we're going gonna, to get hit with really hard, high oil prices. Deal with it. Put, put on your big girl and boy panties. Understand, we've been down this fucking road before. Grow yeah. up. Keep your ass at home. I was, I was reading an article late last night, and uh, it was talking about the gas crisis that we had when Jimmy Carter was president. When gas shot up to a dollar twenty-five a gallon, yep. I was like, "What? Wait, what? A dollar twenty-five a gallon? Oh shit! I'd kill for that." We 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 whined, we bitched, and we showed the world how spoiled we are, and we did the exact same thing again this yep. past spring. That's I don't know. It's there's so many people in this country that whine and bitch. Oh, oh, we got homeless people here. Why are we sending money to Ukraine? We got homeless people everywhere, you know, and some states actually criminalize being homeless, being homeless. They lock them up for 30 days and make them do free labor to work off the fine. Yeah, that's just slavery with extra steps as far as I'm concerned. So when they talk to me about homeless people and we, yeah, somebody did something about it and it's completely fucked up. Yep. And they put them back on the street, give them four to eight hours to find shelter. And if they can't find that shelter, then guess what? They arrest them again. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm like, so how is yep. fixing the problem when you just really ain't doing nothing but perpetuating the problem? Yep. And, and this is something I want I want people to understand. There are 140 people in here. Understand this shit. Homeless people used to be called hobos. They've existed forever. Yeah. The name just changed. Yep. Damn. So did. But it, it's, I don't know. They think the United States, for some reason, can't chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. And yep. well, that's obviously that's obviously Sleepy Joe's fault. And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, it's it's amazing. I mean, these people won't accept the results of the election. Joe Biden was the one that caused gas to go up all over the world because he shut down a pipeline that was not even meant for us to get any oil out of. You know, it, it's just amazing to me how dense they can be. And you try talking to them sometimes. You can't reason with people who still think JFK Jr. is coming back to life. You, there's no talking to that person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But listen to you. Before I go, I got to ask. What's up with your boy, Kanye? Oh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Kanye, 
Kanye, Kanye, now here's the thing. There are crazy people. Yeah, I use that word. There are crazy, there are mentally ill people, but then there are people who are mentally ill, but they are sharp as a fucking tack. Every time he's about to release some new music or some new something, oh, he brings drama to the table. You gotta bring the drama with it. Yeah. Was he? I mean, yeah, he's he's a bright guy. I'm sure he's talented. I couldn't name one Kanye West song if you paid me, um, because I just don't care about him that much. I never have him. The Kardashians. It's amazing what people pay attention to in this country. Oh my god! Oh my god! The Kardashians are going off the air. Oh my god! Oh my god! Kanye and Kim are getting a divorce. I can't believe it. What went wrong? Uh, Kanye, I'm here for you, Kanye, if you need me to be. Wait a minute. Check out the Kardashians. So they're supposedly going off the air. They're now selling their clothes. I mean, shirts that may have cost maybe $200. They're trying to fucking sell them for five and $600. Used. And, and people people going to buy that shit, too. People going to buy that shit, too. I promise you. I'm going to the thrift but, store to pay more than what it originally cost. Yeah. They'll, they'll spend $500 on a shirt and then sit there and complain about it. I can barely put groceries in the house. Well, what are your fucking priorities, clown? I mean, seriously. But when I when I read what Kanye has said, what he posted, and then what he reposted on Twitter that got him banned again, now he's just out there complaining to everybody who'll stick a camera in front of his face. And I, you know, I remember when he was clowning around with Donald Trump. Uh huh. I'm like, man, you just fucking lost it, dude. You just lost hey, it. Hey, Herschel Walker is the new Kanye. That's it. Yeah, we, don't, we don't claim him either. No, no, we don't claim that idiot. <laughs> I le- I, we can't. I mean, we. I left. I left a comment on your video. All skin folk ain't kin folk. There you go. There you go. And you've got Tom Cotton <laughs> and Scott and at least four other Republican senators all going to Georgia. Oh, and three pastors, three preachers are going there to support him. Well, did you hear what Newt Gingrich said about uh, Herschel on Fox News? What? You couldn't ask for a better Republican. You couldn't ask for a better Christian. I'm like, you mean like Reverend Raphael Warnock? You couldn't ask for a better token. Right. And somehow a reverend is not as good as Herschel. Yeah. Yeah. A reverend who preaches at Martin Luther King Jr.'s church. You know, he's he's not as good a Christian as Herschel. I'm like, what where? Like they, they don't want anything but Republicans to be in control. So Republicans mm-hmm. can go on and do nothing like they did for the whole Trump administration. Tuberville. Tuberville. Oh, Tommy Tubeless. Yes. Having the unmitigated gall to say there shouldn't be reparations. I mean, criminals shouldn't be getting reparations. Um, and, you know, other people don't get rep. Excuse me. Jewish people got reparations. Asian people got reparations. They all did. Literally, back in the day when slaves were freed, plantation owners were given reparations for the value of the loss of their property. Yep. Now, you can't tell me if that ain't white privilege, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Look, you lost your slaves. We know we know the country took your slaves from you. So look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pay you for them. And then we'll arrest them later and send them back to work on your farm. There you go. There you go. You notice how that shit went down. Bill is a senator. Unfortunately, he's sitting in the Senate. Or is it the house? I forget which. That's why I never uh, say I think he's a congressman. <clears throat> oh, okay. I can't remember. Either way, but I mean, just stop to think. This is who these people are listening to. They're listening to people like Marjorie Trader Greene. I don't know if you heard her at the rally this past weekend. 
talking about how Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens, and that's exactly what she said, are trying to replace us, replace you, replace your children, replace your jobs. And I'm like, what? And they want to kill you. They want to kill Republicans. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, but the people are sitting there like cheering this shit on. I'm like, if that ain't nationalism, I don't know what is. You're sitting there talking about, you're sitting there talking about a mass genocide of a of a group of people who are going to be replaced because Joe Biden is the president. I mean, are you have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? Well, yeah, in this day and age, we have, but you get what I'm coming from, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You, you picking up what I'm laying down, right? Absolutely, absolutely. They just, uh, I don't know, man. Sometimes see, they just. They just make my head hurt with these stupid conspiracy theories, and oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know I, anymore. I, I, I'm sorry. I watch it, and I'm going. Where are the? Amer- I'm tired of the Republicans keeping their fucking mouth shut. There are. I don't. I don't consider if you voted for Trump in 2016. Okay, fine. Good on you. If you turned around and voted for him in 2020, you're crap. Yeah. You, you are un-American. You are a you are a traitor. You must have been smoking some before you went into that voting booth, I tell you. Exactly. Something, something was being inhaled or sucked down, or I don't know. Someone just someone just said. Uh, the Democrats are going to replace black people with illegals. We ain't worried about it, baby, because they ain't never been for us to begin with. We're just in it for what we can get out of it. Amen, sister. Democrat or Republican. And right now, Republican is the cray cray team. Ain't nobody bothering with them. And you know, you know, one question they still haven't been able to answer for me. I don't know if you if you've asked and gotten the answer, but um. So all these problems that we have in this country that's going on around the world, all this stuff that's Joe Biden's fault, what's their plan to fix it? I'm waiting. I'm really waiting. Because I'd I'd love to hear it. And if I think it's feasible, yeah. Yeah, well, hey, let's do it. Let's do it. But I'm I'm, going to tell you like this. I'm a, I'll hold them accountable just like I do a Democrat. Oh, hell yeah. I'm waiting for them to put um put Hunter in jail. And did you hear, did you hear the recording from 2018? Apparently Joe Biden called, made a laptop call, so there's a recording of him calling his son, and from the sound of it, he almost sounds in tears saying, You've got to get some help. I don't know how to help you, but you have got to get some help. That, well, from what that, I, you, can, you can pick out any any American whose child has been sucked into drugs who has done that exact same thing on the phone. I got to be honest with you. I haven't heard the call, but I can see Joe Biden making that call. Yeah. I can definitely see you him making that call. I think any parent, like... I don't know. Okay, so did did you watch? Um, I don't know if you watched that Dahmer series or not, right? Oh, I'm, I'm still clear of that shit. Well, it's it's definitely somewhere steering clear of. I can promise you that. But um, even even with someone like that, his father was still always there for him. You know, so when your kid has gotten into trouble and you still love him no matter what, yeah, Joe. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I haven't heard the call, but if, mm-hmm. if your kid has gone that far down the path and you're trying to get him to get himself some help because you don't know how to help him anymore, get the kid some help. But but you they know? have to want to take the help. Exactly. And you can, you, can, you can cry all you want on the phone. There are plenty of people who are in jail who their parents were crying on the phone going, don't go there. Don't do this. Leave those drugs alone. Don't drink. And they mm-hmm. didn't do it because they're grown up. 
They're adults. And that's ain't that usually the problem when it comes to kids? Can't tell me what to do. I'm grown. Do what I want. I'm grown. Do what I want. Exactly. So I she's talking about. I'm grown. So what? She's 25 yep. and that's my mom and she brought me into this world. I'm grown. Can't tell yep. me nothing. Exactly. And that's the situation. That's what I got out of the call when I was listening to it. You basically heard any other right, left, whatever parent begging their child to get help. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go listen to that call because I haven't heard it yet. I didn't even know it was out there. Yeah, apparently it's off the laptop. Now, now, all this shit supposedly leaking off the damn laptop. No wonder they haven't said a damn thing about it. They're going for the fact that he bought a gun when he was on drugs. So he lied. That was fraud. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he wasn't paying taxes. Yeah. None, none from that laptop. And I mean, let's, let's remember, let's remember first Julia, first the Ukrainians had it or first uh, some guy in a laptop store had it. Then some guy mm -hmm. in Giuliani's outfit got a hold of it. Then Giuliani got a hold. Apparently Giuliani had the hard drives when the FBI raided his house and they didn't want to take them. Um, you know, then for two years, this FBI, the FBI that was led by Donald Trump's handpicked director. Well, he let's not do anything with that just yet. You know, we're going to, we're going to put, keep that oh, on the down God. low, you know? And I'm like, man, y'all are just, that laptop is so inadmissible in court right now. It ain't got no chain of custody on it or nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, but Cosmo you know said something. Go ahead. No, I was going to just say, if if it is something on there, lock him the fuck up. Nobody cares. Yeah, put him in jail. Matter of fact, if you find any kind of link at all to Joe Biden, go ahead, lock him up too. Then we can have Kamala as, vi as president and we can have Nancy as vice president. Anthony, there you go. That, Anthony, that's a very good point. Anthony just reminded us the laptop technician is blind, so he don't even, I mean, can he really testify to what he saw on the laptop? No, nope, you know. not really. And there is a, there is a member of the city, I think the city council in California, she said something racist. It was caught on a hot mic. She's going to have to resign as she should. Yeah, Gigi, oh, uh, I, I know what you're talking about, but uh, Gigi sent me a video um, this guy broke it down in this video really good and just listening to what they're saying. And then he translated, I was like, man, that's, uh, she ain't going to survive this. Bye. Bye, See? Felicia. You being oh. stupid. Bye. Rick said she resigned already. Bye. Oh, okay. All right. Good. One less, one less whale to answer. There you go. Exactly. We're not pulling no punches. Yeah, exactly. Joe Biden got oh, caught on. Joe Biden got caught ahead. on a hot mic saying, "You don't f with Joe Biden, right?" And they're like, "Oh, look at the language he uses." So I'm like, "I'm like, are you kidding me? You, you really? That's that's where you draw the line. The f word. Come on, come on, man." But. Anywho, Miss T, I'm gonna get myself off here. Like I said, I only came for the tea, not the Kool Aid. So, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> you be well started. tonight, bye bye. Take care, T. Love you, girl. All right, hey, I brought my I brought my keyboard home tonight. Oh, now you just need the computer, the monitors, the One mouse. Step closer. I'll bring the, the monitor. <laughs> yep, be good. All, all right, right. night. See you, T. <laughs> Hi, bye bye. <laughs> yes, yeah, Kunk can say grab him by the Yeah, yeah. It's that double standard that oh my stars and garters they cursed. Yeah, we went through four freaking years of cursing. What about it? Yes, he does have a very uh, damn near everybody in the House or the Senate has a long political history. 
everyone that has been the president, except for Trump, has had a long political history. That's it. It's not new. Oh, yeah, she can sleep with half her gym. And the sex guru. <laughs> the daughter would, mm, yeah. Idaho. He was elected senator in that. Who was elected senator in Idaho? Uh, yes, but people... Ch I'm sorry, right now, as an ex... No, that wasn't Idaho. He was not senator in Idaho. He's not from Idaho. I'm sorry, Cosmo. Yeah, I want y'all to understand this. We, as a nation, have got to get our fucking shit together. Because other nations around the world are literally looking at America going, Did y'all lose y'all fucking minds? If, if Pearl Harbor happened today, we can't count on y'all. We cannot count on y'all to actually react. You'd be too busy fucking squabbling back and forth to react. And that is our fucking danger. Yeah, Delaware. That's the thing. We have forgotten this is the United States of America, not the countries of America. No, I'm having a conversation here, Dirk. Welcome to the party, by the way. It's a conversation. I'm not squabbling. As I keep saying, I've been a Democrat. I've been a Republican. I'm willing to rip both of them an ass. And I clearly said, if Joe Biden's guilty, put his ass in jail. If Hunter Biden's guilty, put his ass in jail. I'm not going to back somebody just because it's my party and I'm going to go along with the group. No. Stop that shit. That has never been normal in this country. But it's now become the norm to call people cute names. To try to slander them. To overlook when just because they're a part of your clique and they do some shit wrong. Literally, you've got preachers going to Georgia to support Herschel Walker. Let me say that again a little slower. There are preachers going to support a man who put a gun to his ex-wife's head, who played Russian roulette with a weapon for himself, you have a man who encouraged a woman, actually pushed her into having an abortion, but he's anti-abortion. Then when she got pregnant the second time, tried to push her into having one, and she refused. He's got four kids that he ain't got nothing to do with their life. Yet from January to August, when we found out about him, oh, the black community doesn't take care of his children. Black men just don't don't support their families. They're just not responsible. Dude, you're not fucking responsible. What the hell? Pot, meat, kettle. Damn. But the Republican Party is still trying to push him through. And don't tell me last year when he said he was going to run. You telling me you didn't investigate your people? You didn't do a background check? You didn't look into anything. You didn't know about him beating his first wife. You didn't know about him putting a pew pew to her head. You didn't know about him. Everybody else knows about him playing Russian roulette with a pew pew. But the Republican National Party didn't know that shit. Excuse me? Excuse me? 
And the Republicans that I know are like, we fuck it, fuck it, we out. We out. Mm -mm. This is a this is a cult, not a party. They are literally walking the fuck away. Joe Biden did not get voted in by Democrats. Understand this. And I keep telling Democrats and independents. Joe Biden was not voted in by Democrats. He was voted in by Democrats, independents, and Republicans who said, fuck this shit. I voted for him 2016. I ain't voting for him in 2020. Understand that. Hey, Poetic. That's the situation. That's where we are right now. And those Republicans who are running around to my, they're rhinos. No, you're in a cult. The real Republicans are sitting off to the side, waiting till the house burns down to rebuild it. The problem is, if the house burns down, it could catch a hell of a lot of other things on fire. And burn it down too. And we've got enemies out there watching. We've got enemies sitting there going, oh, America's fucking up. Ooh. You mean they can be manipulated like that? You mean they can be, oh, wow. You can make them turn on their fellow Americans? Hmm. We didn't know it was that easy to manipulate Americans. They're watching. I knew they were full of it when they called Mitch McConnell a rhino. Mitch McConnell is a hardcore Republican. Cheney is a fucking hardcore Republican. While she's running around talking about, I might support a Democrat. Yes, I might. Find, might yes, I might have to vote. I voted my whole life Republican. I may have to vote. You know what the fuck she's doing? I'm waiting for the house to burn down and I will sit in this ship over here until it's done. I will play Democrat. I will play moderate until the house finishes burning down. If I gather a little information, a little intel while I'm in the Democratic House, so be it. If it takes five, ten years. Yeah, I've gathered a lot of fucking information on the Democrats. Time to make my move. That's it. That's Liz Cheney. I'm quite sure Daddy is advising her. Just sit back. Keep your mouth shut. Take notes. You'll know when it's time to strike. Anyway, just a little tea time with team, just a little conversation. That's all this is about for us to actually talk with each other. Y'all have a good evening, remember? Trust the tea, not the Kool Aid. And you can look me up over on Spotify. Conversations. Tea time with tea. Y'all have a good night. Just caught the end. Guess have a great night. Yeah, Cookie. Um, I'll be back tomorrow evening. We'll have a little, another little chit chat. All y'all be well. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, moderators, thank you so much. I am always grateful for you hopping in here.